Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Jeju Green Moist Emulsion and the Green Moist Cream. These products were kindly provided for review by Q Depot and I talked about the toner and the essence last week as well. So let's start with the Green Moist Emulsion. The product description says, this moisturizing lotion gives richness and moisture to your skin. It goes on soft and smooth, leaving your skin smooth and radiant. Organic aloe vera and green tea from the clean soil of Jeju Island effectively soothes irritated skin and moisturizes the deeper layers of skin. This lotion also helps reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles, returning firmness to your skin. Sunflower seed argan oil nourish and soften your skin. Antioxidants from broccoli extract protect your skin from further damage and return the healthy tone and radiance of your skin. Our six free system ensures that none of the following ingredients are found in the product, parabens, mineral oils, animal derivatives, if artificial aromas, artificial colors, and benzophenone. Thus, our products are safe for even sensitive skin. How to use? After toner and essence, apply two to three pumps of the lotion to your face from the corner of your face. The emulsion is packaged in the same packaging as the rest of the line with a beautiful green plastic bottle, a pump cap and a safety lid. The emulsion is white and quite thin in texture. This reminds me of a classic lotion-like texture and I find it easy to spread across the skin. One pump dispenses enough emulsion to cover my face sufficiently. This emulsion makes my skin feel really lovely and soft. This is more suitable for my drier winter skin than the previous two products are, though when used in conjunction with the entire line, the hydration level is ideal for winter. I think it does make my skin look a little bit more radiant after application too. I'm not too sure about the reduction in fine lines since I always use the essence first, which definitely plumps up my fine lines already. This emulsion is another product perfect for layering, though this one is a lot more suitable for my winter skin. It's a lot thicker and creamier than the Essence is, so it feels like it makes my skin even softer and smoother. It's hard to say if I notice a reduction in fine lines because since I trialled the toner and the Essence all separately, I felt like the Essence probably had a bigger impact on reducing the fine lines. Though, because the Essence has already reduced the fine lines, I'm not sure if it's because the emulsion's not actually doing anything or if the essence has just reduced all of the fine lines that could be reduced. I'm not expecting these products to get rid of all of my fine lines. I think that would be a pretty miraculous product if it did, but it should plump them up a little bit, which is what the essence is doing. But I still enjoy using the emulsion because it makes my skin feel a lot more hydrated than the toner and the essence do. Lastly, we have the Green Moist Cream. The product description says, this rich moisturizing cream penetrates and moisturizes even the deep layers of your skin without stickiness, turning your rough skin into smooth, moisturized and elastic skin. Moisturizing complexes derived from natural ingredients moisturize and protect your skin from dryness. Antioxidants from the broccoli extract and camellia oil protect your skin from further damage and give you clear and healthy complexion. How to use? After essence or lotion, apply the cream gently to your face. This cream comes packaged in a little jar with a hygiene cap. Since this cream is in a jar, I prefer to use a spatula to get it out. I just think it's a bit more hygienic than using my fingers. The cream itself feels like a lightweight gel and it's easy to spread across the skin. The one quirk with this product is that it does feel quite oily on my skin. This isn't a problem at night or if I'm applying makeup over top, but if I was to use the cream during the day with nothing else, including sunscreen, my skin would look quite oily and if I touched my skin, my hand would also be oily. Other than that, it makes my skin feel super soft the next morning and preps my skin nicely for makeup. While I quite like using this cream, it is a bit of an interesting product for me. When I touch my face with the back of my hand, it does make the back of my hand look quite oily, but in general my face doesn't look that oily at all. I find a little bit goes a very long way, so I tend to use a little bit less of this product than I would with any other normal cream. But my face feels sufficiently hydrated, I don't feel like I'm not using enough of the product at all, I just I think that it's a very small tub and you just need a very little amount of it. This is quite good though because you obviously can use the tub for longer if you use less of it so that saves a lot of money in the long run. 
It definitely makes my skin feel super lovely if I use it as a night cream or during the day it makes my skin really nice and soft and prepped well for my makeup. I use this cream under my makeup and I don't notice that it pills my makeup or anything like that but I do use a sunscreen in the middle of that as well. So I apply the toner, the essence, the emulsion, the cream and then my sunscreen and then I go on to my makeup steps. My makeup always sits well over this cream and I haven't noticed it making my makeup pill or anything like that so I think it's really good for using with makeup. So I love that these products moisturize and hydrate my skin really well. They have elegant, functional packaging. They all have a gorgeous lavender scent and they're fairly inexpensive at around $20 per item. I don't love that the cream leaves my skin feeling slightly oily. I have really enjoyed trying out the Jadu Green Moist line. I think the entire range of products is really lovely and I absolutely adore the scent of lavender throughout the entire range. The packaging is elegant but it's also really functional and if you get this set it does come with two miniature travel sizes. These products moisturize my skin really well and I quite like that the toner and the essence are better suited for summer weather than the emulsion and the cream so that means that I can use these products all year round and it's a little easier to tailor it to suit my skincare needs. The addition of such a hydrating cream is really good as well because if I feel like my skin during summer needs just a little bit extra hydration I can always put that on top and skip the emulsion step or in winter I can just use all four skincare products at the same time and it will make my skin look super nice and feel lovely. I absolutely adore the entire range and I don't really have that many bad things to say about it because in general the range claims to moisturize your skin and it does exactly that. It's not promising to give you young radiance skin, it's not trying to get rid of any hyperpigmentation or anything, it really is moisturizing and it's soothing your skin and I really like it. I guess the only people I wouldn't recommend this to would be anybody who doesn't like the smell of lavender because they are quite scented and personally I really love that and it definitely adds to the enjoyment of using for me but if you don't like lavender you might want to stay away from these because they definitely do smell a lot like lavender. Thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time.